Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about TransferWise and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I've been getting a lot recently on my other video and that is how do you create a TransferWise payment link? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, this is gonna be a really quick video. There's really not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you wanna create a payment link on TransferWise? Well, that's pretty easy. Maybe one of your clients likes to pay you through TransferWise. So you wanna send them a payment link that links directly to your TransferWise. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in the TransferWise app. It's this green and black one right here. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I'm going to open up my TransferWise account now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and opened up my TransferWise account. This is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to create a payment link inside your TransferWise, what you want to do is click on this manage button down here on the bottom right. It's four little squares. Once you click there, you're going to see this drop down menu. And in order to create a payment link in your TransferWise, you have to click on this line right here called payment requests as a little dollar symbol with a downward arrow. Okay. Once you click there, you're going to see all of the different payment links that you've created inside of TransferWise. But to create a new payment link, what you want to do is click on this new button here on the top, right? Okay. So here is where you can create a payment link in your TransferWise. First, what you want to do is choose the currency by clicking on this downward arrow. Okay. So you can see I have two currencies available inside of my TransferWise. So you just choose whichever you have inside of your account. So I want to get paid in US dollars. So I'll click here. Next, you want to go ahead and choose the amount for the payment link that we're creating in TransferWise. So let's go ahead and just type in $12 for the sake of this video. Next, since you are sending a payment request link, you want to go ahead and type a note in. It is optional, but I would highly recommend it, especially if you're sending it to one of your clients, because if they don't know what it's for, they may not end up paying it. So just type in say marketing monthly. Okay. So I went ahead and typed that in. So that's basically it. So in order to create your TransferWise payment link, just click on this line right here, create payment link. Okay. So now your transfer wise payment link has been created. So you can go ahead and click on the share button to share it through text message or Facebook messenger, however you want. If you want to create a QR code, you can click on this line or you can just do what I do and click on this copy button. And that way your transfer wise payment link is copied to your clipboard. So you can easily text it to your customer or include it in the email. Now this transfer wise payment link does expire. So I'm recording this video on the 17th of April. So they're letting me know this link for transfer wise will expire on May 17th. So it's good for about 30 days. So there you have it guys, if you're wondering how to create a TransferWise payment link, that is the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.